Hi everybody, it's Deb from d, &D Art Gallery. Today I have a 12 by 12 inch canvas um, that I'm going to do a ring pour on and I'm going to be using my four chamber cup. Today my paints are the uh, porridge posse paint. The first one is Persian Autumn Yellow. The next one is Deep Lagoon Shimmer. Very pretty green color. And my next paint is the Galaxy Blue Shimmer. And my last paint, and I apologize, I didn't quite get the name up there for you to see it, but it's Victoria's Muscadine Wine. My base coat today is the Rust-Oleum Metallic Accents, and it's the Metallic White Pearl. And here I'm going to show you, oh, I, I mixed all my paints with the mix today, seven part mix to one part paint. I did thin with a little bit of water. Here I'm showing you that four chamber cup that I'm going to be putting my colored paints in. And what I think I'll do is um, turn off the camera and fill the cup and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back now and I've put down a thin layer of my base coat, that metallic accents white pearl, and a little puddle in the middle of the white pearl to help the paint move. I do have, and here I'm showing you my uh, four chamber cup, it's all filled, ready to go. And I do have my 12 by 12 inch canvas on my turntable today. Just to, this is the first time I've used the turntable for a ring pour, and I'm just going to see how it turns out here. Like I was saying, I did thin my paints a little bit with water, just a couple of drops though. They are a little bit on the thicker side because I wanted the lines to stay crisp. And all of these um, porridge posse paints come from Christine Welsh, and she is an artist on YouTube. And her line of paints, I I really enjoy using them. They're very creamy, easy to mix. The colors stay very vibrant, and you will see that at the end of this video how the lines did stay crisp and the colors just very very vibrant here i'm just taking my time turning that turntable just trying to um, get get some rings in there i do have plenty of paint for this uh, canvas I'd say at this point I've used about three quarters of my paint up. I think it's here I decide I'm going to do something a little bit different. You'll, you'll see I'm drawing circles, but I'm going to draw them out to the edge of my canvas. Just for a little bit different effect. And here I'm starting to do that right now. This paint was very, very easy to work with uh, doing these rings, by the way. And here I'm just um, finishing up that pour. 
and I'm, I'm also drawing some little rings out to the side here just with a little bit of paint that I have left. Okay. Now I'm just taking a look at it. And at this point, I'm just a little bit concerned because I think that the, there's a lot, a lot of red going on. It's almost to me like the the red took over so I'm thinking of ways how can I try and um, add some more color in there where that red is and I'm trying to tip a little paint out of my cup at that point and not much was coming out here's where I decide I'm going to uh, just give it a torch, get my air bubbles up. Still looking at it, thinking about what can I do with this. I decided to take my skewer and just run it through. Mix up the paint a little bit. I guess some would call this a wrecked, a wrecked ring pour by mixing the paint up like that. Okay, again, I'm going to try and get a little bit of paint, if there's any left in that cup, just to try and break up that big red area there. Having difficulty, uh, now I'm thinking, is there any paint left at all in there? And there was a little bit. So what I did is I started just making a little circle there. And very thin lines coming out that I'm going around and around in that area with. Just playing around with the paint, having some fun with it. Now I'm making small lines all over. Okay. Here I decide to give it one more torch. And now I'm going to use my turntable and give it a good spin. As you can see, it did, uh, did bring a lot of the paint off of the canvas and spread it out quite nicely. And at this point, I was pretty happy because a lot of those other colors did come out. I especially like that purple. I always like to combine purple and red anyway. I just think they're very pretty together. And then I like the brightness of the yellow also. Here I'm just doing some tipping, uh, taking care of my uh, corners as I go along. Here I feel I can tip off some of this here, but I didn't want to lose much of that green on there. And just tipping this corner down a little bit more here. You can see that little circle that I made there at the end right there. And now I'm just trying to run some of this paint off of this corner. The paint is moving slowly, so it is a little bit on the thicker side.
And as you can see, that purple is coming out very, very nice here. Very happy with that. At this point, I'm just getting some paper towels to clean my hands off a little so they're not too slippery to handle the canvas. And I am going to tip now down to that corner, but as you can see, the way I'm holding my hand, I'm going to try and catch as much as I can of that green paint and bring it on back. I don't want to lose it. Now I'm just working on composition, trying to get it where I like it. A lot going on in this painting. You have the rings, but then on both both of the opposite edges there, you, you do have a lot, a lot of different things going on. I'm just pulling the paint more towards the middle there. And now I'm going to take a look at it, and I think I work on my corners here a little bit, just covering them. So far, I'm pretty happy with this painting. Still working on just covering up those corners and looking at the edges here. I really do feel that it's the mix that is making this painting so shiny. That's the only thing I have here is the paint and the mix. No, I've, nothing else was added. Just giving it a quick torch here. Get out the last of the air bubbles. And then I'm just taking out something that doesn't belong there. And now I'm going to take you uh, down for a close-up here. Here is the upper left-hand corner. And you can just see how these lines stayed so vibrant. This is that little circle that I made at the very end. Lines are crisp, the colors are vibrant. Actually, the reflection is just from the camera on the painting because the, the paint is so shiny. I'm just taking you up the middle here. I really like how all the colors played together. And this is the upper right-hand corner here. Very pretty in here. So let me know what you think of this painting and this video. Give me a thumbs up if you like it. Share it. Ring the bell, choose all, so you know the next time that I do post a new video. And until next time, 